All right, we finally got something. What do we got? Pompano, we got Pompano! <laughs> Not sure what it is, but... Oh, another Pompano. Oh, oh. Okay, so just for reference, we're using fish bites, easy shrimp. These are great because they uh, have a fabric within the bait that holds onto the hook so they don't fall off the hook. So you can get a lot more use out of this. And we're also using just some frozen sand fleas. You can catch them fresh in the in the surf if you have a net for them, but we don't have one, so we're getting some frozen ones. And we're just kind of having all kinds of variety here. We also have some fresh frozen shrimp. And these are just, uh, you know, fresh, fre freshly frozen. They've only been dead for probably like 24 hours or so. So with that said, we're gonna do one shrimp. And we're gonna do one sand flea. Let's go put this on the hook real quick. This is what we're working with here. We're also using a Sputnik weight because this weight will dig into the sand a little bit and it won't drag around and unless something pulls it, then these pop down and then they can drag through the, uh, the water either, more easily whenever you pull a fish in. But these are great for surf fishing because they don't get hooked up or they uh, stay put a little bit better than uh, just like a little standard weight. So here's, here's our first hook. We're gonna put a uh, sand flea on this hook. And there's our piece of our uh, um, fish, bite. fish bite. This is an older piece of fish bite, but honestly this stuff is hard to get off the hook when it starts to get kind of mushy. And this hook is missing its piece of, uh, as you can see this little piece of fabric right here. It looks like surgical tape kind of. This fabric is what is woven into those fish bites that hold onto the hook. So on this hook, we're gonna put, we're gonna pop the head and the tail off the shrimp. And we're just gonna use a small chunk of shrimp here. And I might have to go get another piece of fish bite later on, but for now, I'm just gonna stick this out in here with this. And for good measure, we have another piece of shrimp here. I'm just gonna stick it on this bottom hook as well. Because look, at this point, whatever you got in your hands, might as well throw it on there. It might fall off after a little cup after the cast, but we'll just stick it on there anyway. All right, so cast it out. Today's a really good day for surf fishing too because it's pretty calm and flat. As you can see, it's just like super chill and calm out there in the ocean. All right, we finally got something. What do we got? Pompano, we got Pompano! <laughs> We finally caught a pompano. I'll, I'm, I'm not sure it's big enough, but yeah. Here, hold it up. Let me get a picture. We finally, as the Blackmans, caught our first pompano. If you can believe that, all the fish we've ever caught, we've never caught a pompano. This is pompano number one. How many? They probably be like 15 inches. Beautiful fish and very good tasting, but I need to check real quick on the size limit. Let's go uh, pull it up and see what the size limit is. See, all the fish I've caught in my lifetime, I've never really been a surf fisherman, just in, just in recent years, but never caught a pompano. I've always wanted to catch one, and we finally, finally made it happen. That was it's such a beautiful fish, too. Florida pompano, minimum size limit is 11 inches fork length. So we're gonna measure this fish real quick and see if it's big enough. It looks to be about 10, maybe not 11, but we'll find out here in a second. I'm not sure what the yield is on that fish. I mean, they obviously are, they, people say that they're very good. I've, not only have I never caught one, but I've never eaten one. But I've been looking forward to catching one and really looking forward to eating one because they, I've been told that they're very white and flaky and very yummy. So we're gonna put a quick measurement on this fish and see if he's big enough to keep. Hold on. Right at it. Right at the nose. 
Um, no, he's actually ten and a half. No. Hold on, let me just make sure we're right, line up right. Let's let him. Let's let him go for another day. It's exciting. You know, we're going to give him back for uh, good luck, right? Sure. To live another day. He's a little. He's a little small. But absolutely beautiful fish. First pompano. All right, get him back in the water. Just make sure he doesn't. Yeah, I feel that. Just make sure he gets a good release, okay? All right, good job. Jesus. Finally caught a pompano. All that pomp and circumstance for a little 10 and a half inch fish, but that was pretty cool. They're a beautiful fish. We'll see if we can catch another one. Pompano. Oh, oh. Yes. Another, another pompano. Oh, another pompano. Here's pompano number two for the day. That's a keeper for sure. This one definitely looks like it's a bigger size. Let's get a, That's a sure. get a quick measurement on this guy here. Let's see what we get oh, to come up with. Pompano. All right, so it's 11 inches to the fork. Watch out, move your hand. All right, this time we're definitely at 11 inches. This one is 12 inches. Mm -hmm. So we are good to keep this fish. Let's get another picture for mom real quick and we'll put him in the cooler. You know, you don't need to set the hook. You got circle hooks no, on there. Nothing. No, it's still on there. I took it. All right, we'll get you another sand flea. I don't know if there's anything on, but I thought I found it. It might not have anything on there. No. Find anything? Yep. Huh? No. This little guy here. Rachel. You look from the top of the cup? Yep. Like tilt it this way. There you go. Pouring on the sand. Yeah, that's why. I don't know what this thing is, but. Been biting everybody. Oh, there it goes. 